Ed, how much confidence and stability has your team gotten from the goaltending it's gotten for quite a while now? Yeah, I mean, it's huge. Uh, there's tons of points in games, close games like this. Um, you know, where teams can get momentum and you get huge saves, it's a huge boost. Um, whether it's, you know, even strength or even on the kill, you know, you know special teams, um, you know, your goalie has to come up with some saves sometimes, and they've done a really good job of doing that. And, Held us in games, allowed us to to get our chances and uh, and capitalize. Seth, uh, Sid, to kind of stick with that theme, what's different in your observation, if anything at all, for Casey compared to maybe two years ago when he first established himself as an NHL player? Is there anything he does differently in a tangible sense, like playing the puck or rebounds or anything intangible, like like confidence, anything like that, or any differences in him compared to two years ago? I don't know. I think it's like any player. I think, you know, with the more games you play and the experience you gain, um, you know, I think probably the biggest adjustment you'd have to talk to him, but I would think for most goalies, just reading the play, everything's happening so fast. You know, there's some big guys in front of him that he's got to fight through to find the puck. So, um, you know, between fighting through guys to, to see pucks and then just anticipating what's going to happen out there, uh, it all happens pretty quick. And the more you play, the more you get used to that. So, um, you know, he just looks like he's, He's able to anticipate and read the play really well and, and get in good positions. Jim Colony. Yeah, said you reached another milestone tonight, but how much fun is it for you when you see a guy like Zahorna who suits up for the first time and then scores a goal in his first game on his first shot? Yeah, you love seeing that. Um, you know, you know it's his first game and you know, you you think back to those uh you know, those emotions and those feelings that, that you have in your own first game and all the guys that have um, had memorable nights like that. So to see him, you know, score in his first game and, uh, you know, see that emotion, that's that's a huge boost and gets us going. But it's also just, uh, you know, a great feeling on the bench when you see that. Jenna? Sid, kind of along those lines with your milestone, what does it mean to you to reach the 1300 point mark and to do it the way you did it with, assist, with the assist on Jake's goal? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a nice number and, um, you know, I wasn't thinking about it a ton. I think, uh, you know, tonight was was a big game and, you know, we were just focused on on getting a win, but, uh, you know, glad to see Gensi put one in. Uh, he's had a ton of chances. Um, he's been doing uh, so many great things, you know, since the start of the year and uh, love seeing him, you know, put the puck in the net. So uh, it was nice to see him get, get rewarded there with that one and nice to get the, the 1300 point there. Michelle? Yeah, so to go for that, you did become the eighth fastest player in NHL history to reach that milestone, joining some incredible names, obviously. I mean, as someone who appreciates the history of the game and those who came before you, and what does it mean to kind of join you and be in that company? Yeah, I mean, it's it's nice. I mean, uh, you know, ultimately you play to win, and, um, you know, it's, uh, I guess it's a sign I've been playing for, for a pretty long time too, but uh, that being said, it's it's always nice to, to get those those milestones and um, you know just continue to work and uh, you know try to get better here, but I think uh, it's it's always nice to get those those achievements, I guess, and those milestones. We have a couple more, Rob Rossi. Sydney, um, do you notice that when guys when you guys have a lot of guys out, that opponents try to take a little bit more liberty with you on the ice out there, like we saw with Mr. Linen and the day before with Montour. I don't know. I mean, I think, you know, you look at Ristolainen, I mean, he plays a pretty physical game regardless of who's in the lineup or, you know, I think that's, you know, you look over the years, he's um, he's a guy you got to be aware of when he's on the ice. I think Montour, the same thing, you know, he's a good skater. He can get to, to make hits. So um, I don't know if it's, you know, necessarily because we have guys out. I think that, you know, there's always guys that are, are trying to, to play hard against you and knock out, knock you off your game and make, you know, make the night long for you. And, you know, I don't, I don't really go into a game expecting it to be any more or any less, you know, I just expect to compete. So um, it's, it's hard to say really. Last question, Matt Bensel. Hey Sid, uh, after a, a tough week for you guys with a few losses there and some injuries, how critical was it to take care of business against Buffalo the past two games and not let things snowball? Yeah, I mean, we just got to keep keep moving forward here. It's uh, it's not easy when 
and you're seeing, you know, guys each game uh, go down. And But I think, you know, for guys to come in the way they have and, and uh, you know, to play pretty strong games here, that's important. So um, we're going to have to continue to work together and, and everyone's got to do their part. But, uh, you know, when you see guys go down like that, I think, you know, guys have to step up and, and we've done that so far and we've got to continue to do it.